Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Dirt & Iron. Today we are going to replace shaft seal on my KTM 250SX, so stick around. This is quite a common issue on these KTMs. My bike also had a leak, everything here was nasty, oily and a lot of dirt. So I bought, I went online and uh, I put my bike and searched for the part and I got this uh, seal, this is how it looks. Make sure when you buy the seal, make sure it's exactly for your bike. But you, you need seal and you also need to have an O-ring that goes on the little little ring. I will show you once I remove everything, I'll show you the ring. So there is an O-ring that also gets damaged and if this O-ring is not good, then you're gonna have oil leak even though you replace your seal. First you need to remove this circle clip that was sitting right here. I already did that using uh, this wise grip. Put it right here and then expand it like that and take it off. Watch out because this thing can come flying out, it can hit you in the eye, so it's not a bad idea to have goggles, safety goggles when you are doing this. You don't really need to split the chain. What I did, I just uh, removed my rear wheel and uh, take my chain off the rear sprocket and that would allow me to have enough room here to remove the front sprocket, so let's do that. Just slide it off like that. And you can put this one off. Now here, this is the ring that has. Uh, uh, should be able to remove it. This ring has a has an O-ring sitting on the other side. There you go. You see? Oh, the O-rings. The O-ring is inside. That's why it's good to have a picks like these. Uh, I didn't pay much, but I think like five dollars. So invest a little bit of money, get these picks. So it's so much easier to remove for your stuck O-rings or whatever you need to take out from like a really bad bad spot. There you go. So this is the O-ring. This thing is probably causing the leak I had. That's what usually goes bad. So this O-ring sits right here. And it's supposed to seal everything. So if everything is good, you have no oil leak here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna toss this away. And then you need to remove this seal. Sometimes it's a little headachey to take it out because this thing is in there. So I'll try to pry it out with this big pick. If uh, that doesn't work, what else you can do? You can drill a small hole, put a little bolt on two sides and grab it with two pliers and pull it off. That's also an option. But let's see what it does. I mean, don't worry to damage it because you have a new one. Yep, it's coming out. There you go. So this is my old seal and I will gladly replace. So now we're ready to install this new seal in. The best way what I usually do to drive it in, I would use the, the socket that is big enough to sit on the edges of the seal, just like this one. It sits right on the edges. And then I'll get the rubber mallet and drive it in. Just make sure you're driving it uh, evenly on all surface. You don't want to put one side in and then you will have just headache to, to get it in. So make sure you are going driving it in evenly. Alright, that should do. So the new seal is in. 
here is a ring with a new o-ring on it I already installed that super simple just put it on there is little groove on it just put it there and slide it over and that's it we're ready to put our front sprocket back on it's super easy this uh, you know o-ring chain is it's a little bit pain to take it apart so it was so much easier to take my rear wheel apart and give me enough room to maneuver here there you go just like that and that should give me enough room there is a groove on a shaft and I need to put this circle clip into that groove and make sure that it sits in there all the way you need to play with it a little bit it's a very important part you have to make sure that this thing is in there Did you hear the click? It means that it came in. You can see that it is in. So inspect the circle clip, see if uh, a whole body of the circle clip is clicked into the groove. Because if, if one part is not in, then you might lose it easily and that will cause some damage to your bike. So make sure this all is in. My looks fine. And also, how you can tell is, if this gap is too wide, that means that the circle club is not sitting in the groove, but it's still sitting on the shaft. Alright guys, that's about it for this video. This is how you install a new shaft seal on a KTM. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.